Good morning, uh, all of you. Children, before okay, now uh, before I begin with the class, uh, let us hope I hope that all of you are safe. And uh, children, since the cases uh, started rising again, so you all have to be very careful. So please uh, follow these steps in order to protect yourself. And uh, the same, uh, it's your responsibility is to guide your, to your friends, your relatives also in just spread awareness. And I hope you all are doing this. Okay, now uh, let us begin with the class today. So children, last time what you people have studied? If you... Yes, anybody please tell. Kavya. Access is specified, which is public, private, protected. So you all have understood that. Not understood. Okay. But uh, constructor is okay now. Sarthagar. Simran Kaur. Ashmit Prakash. Achint Singh. Anusha Singh. Saksham. Aditya Shivasta Shriyansh. But of those who are not attending the classes on regular basis, their project submission will not, uh, I will not accept their project. So they will be given straight away zero. Okay. So for last 10 attendance, I will consider for this and those who are continuous absent your percentage must be 75 percent in last 10 attendance okay now uh, so but uh, what is this keyword shayan shayadav what is its purpose Please tell what is its purpose. So I'm just going to explain this keyword example. So in that I'm just want to add two numbers. Addition. So the name of the class is addition. Addition is here. So no issues, I'm just going to remove this. Okay, now we are going to add two numbers. So first of all, I would like to define constructor. So this is, uh, these are the two numbers, A and B, which is, uh, so you all know that it is first is equals to A and it is, second is equals to b and now there is a function word display so here what to do is the first number is the first number is first and uh, Second number is second and here we have to add that get sum. So here we have to write third is first plus second and return third. 
So children, after we have got the sum here, what to do? Just I need to call this function. Suppose I'm just calling uh, if the return type is void, then we need not to call it. And here we can just write or type here that the the sum is third. Main method. So children in the main method we need to uh, create the object of the so I have taken uh, this variable f for the first number this variable s for the second number and here I want to input two numbers so children here one thing is that I want to declare here static scanner and here after that enter two numbers yes what is the problem so here enter two numbers and this is the first number which is and the second number children in this program I have not taken input function so it simply means the values will come via constructor so here what to do is we need to create the object of the class so that is addition new addition passing f comma s and then obj dot display now children one thing this is this part is the is responsible for invoking the constructor and the values which we are passing in terms of f and s will get passed within this these two variables a and b and further these values will be forwarded in first and second Now you can see that if we run that program, here it is 10 and here it is 20. Now you can see that uh, the sum is, uh, okay, I'm not calling this function. That's why it is not coming. So here I need to call that function. I have called this function now. the sum is 10 and 20 so this is the sum which is 10 20 plus 30 this is how it is coming now shreyan shiada would you please tell me what is this keyword all of you please write all of you please write this keyword is the keyword please write somewhere this keyword is the keyword which stores this keyword is the keyword which stores the address of current calling object it is used to store the address of the current calling object but uh, who has joined with this id matrix magma who is this please name yourself who is this please hurry up I am removing you from the session okay uh, now here uh, this keyword is used to store the address of current calling object and one more thing is that this keyword is used to differentiate between local variable and instance variable so the variable which has been declared within this here 
uh, will be known as local variable or if any variable which we declare here inside this will also be treated as local variable. So here if I am writing first and here it is second. So these variables which I have declared in function signature of the constructor will be known as the local variable. So first second and here if I am writing first and here if I am writing second. So it simply means that I am using the local variables and now see what happens. 10 and 20. Uh, the sum must be 30 but here the first number is 0, second number is 0 and the sum is also 0. And why it is happening? Why it is so? Because here from here we are passing f and s and this first and second definitely it receives a value. But further the value from the local variable to the instance variable is not being forwarded. Because if this, the highlighted statement which you can see that first is equals to first. Here both the first are local variable because whenever you use local variable within any function the local variable is preferred. The instance variable which I have declared just after the class where you can see into first comma second comma third. These variables first and second are not available within the constructor because within the constructor local variable will be preferred if the variable name is same. So local variables value will go to the local variable only it is not going it is not being stored within the instance variable. That's why the output is coming as first number 0, second number 0 and third number 0. Any query then please tell. Any query then please tell. Hurry up. Would you please tell me children? You will not tell me. I am saying, would you please, would you please, uh, Aditi Singh, are you there, Aditi? So, how to differentiate local variable and instance variables? In order to differentiate local variable means this dot first. So now this dot first means this first and only first means this first. Now easily we can differentiate if you run this program. Now you can see that if this first number is 10, second number is 20. Now you can see that the first number is 10 now, but second number is still 0 because in case of the second variable, we are still not able to differentiate because the local variable and the instance variable name is same. The local variable and instance variable name is what? Same. Okay. So in order to rectify this, this dot second. So what this keyword does, it stores the address of current calling object. So now here it is 10, it is 20, you can see that the sum is 30. This is all about this keyword. So if anybody is still having any issues, any problem, please tell. Class 10. Class 10, please tell me. Tanisha Kaushal, any doubt? Tanisha Kaushal, Achinta Singh, Aranav Jaitli, Sartha Garg, Archisha, Archisha Varma, Vinit Vinayak. Vinit Vinayak, are you there? 
हेलो विनत बेटा रसर रिप्लाई प्लीज Vinayak, Vinayak, reply. Otherwise, I will remove you. Okay, your mic is not working. Okay, so uh, I hope children, you have understood. Now, another thing which I am going to teach is uh, the access specifiers. Now, Shreyan Shyadav, would you please tell me what are access specifiers? Shreyan Shiyadu, please tell. Hurry up. But actually, access specifier defines the scope of the instance variables member functions of the class. These define the scope of. Now, here I am going to tell you. A scope is the part within which any variable is available, accessible. Suppose if I am writing uh, uh, here, you just see that, wait. Suppose here I have, this is what, uh, you can see that these are the opening and closing braces and inside this I have declared a variable A is equals to 10. So the scope of this variable A is limited within these braces and outside this brace this variable is not available. I am just going to tell you one more example that will be good for you. I am just removing this part C and here I am just writing this uh, and here I am writing A is equals to 10. So I have declared even if I have declared this variable within the main method, but additional pair of braces are there and outside this brace, if I am printing this A, you will see that there is error. Because the scope of cannot find symbol A, scope is not there. This variable you cannot use outside these two braces. You have to use this variable within that only because the scope says if you remove this statement and here if you write that you can see that the output is 10. Now it's working but it's working within the scope not outside that scope. If uh, still you have any issues, then please tell. So I hope scope I have defined properly. Okay, now Shreyan Shiyadha, would you please define me the package? Children, it is Java virtual machine. The larger box, you can see that. So, package is a group of related classes together within a single unit, within a single capsule. Here is a box and it is not a box but it is java.lang package and here is another package which is Java dot util. Here is another package which is Java dot io. Suppose there are three packages. The best thing with uh, this programming language is that you can create your own packages also. Suppose I have created a package and its name is the name of the package is class 10b and inside this package I have kept a small program 
and the name of this program is abc.java and within this program abc.java i have i'm just going to create a program abc.java wait children let me i have created abc.java and within this abc.java i have taken few variables as a instance variable int a public b and public int b and then uh, private int c and uh, protected entity these are the four variables which i have declared as instance variables but the scope of these variable first uh, variable is by default uh, second variable is public third variable is private and fourth variable is protected and all these variables are the part of this package which is my class 10th v and belongs to this program which is abc.java got it so the variable a is available within this abc.java and outside this abc.java also within the same package suppose here is another program which is bcd.java and in this bcd.java i am using abc.java i am just using abc.java uh, so within this abc.java this variable a is available because the scope of the variable abc variable a the scope of this variable a is within whole package of class 10b so it means this variable a is available within the whole package class 10b means abc.java can access it with the help uh, within bcd.bcd.java we can access it in one more variable we can access suppose other programs also within the same packet we are making so we can access no issues but outside the package this int a is not available because it is declared by default if you have any doubt then please tell class 10b beta please bataiye class 10b if you have any doubt snehal chandra achinta singh achinta singh snehal chandra sarthak garg sanvi arora any doubt okay now okay now i am talking about public int b int b is available within the same package within the same package whole package which is class 10b and it is out also available outside the package 10b means that this int b variable we can use within io package also we can use within java.lang package also and with, we can use it within util also because it is publicly declared so publicly means everywhere public means everywhere public means everywhere within the same package outside the package now come to the third point which is private int c 
listen this private int c variable is the part of abc.java program and it is available within this java program only within abc only so the private members are available or accessible within the class in which they are declared not outside the class till now any problem then please tell class 10b if you have any query any doubt then please tell beta please tell no doubt all of you have understood vinit vinayak understood or not your mic started working good okay now we have one more variable uh, so private is available within the class only in which it is declared now protected int c yes everywhere in all the four pa packages which uh, you can see on the screen the first package is java.lang then io then util then 10b and few more packages if you want to create definitely i'm just going to create one more by default package here then also it is available here also suppose the name of this package is temp package then also it is available no issues within the scope of the java virtual machine every public variable is available any other problem okay now come to the last access specifier which is protected so in protected suppose i am just writing one more class kbc extends extends abc so what is this extends children this extends is a keyword which implements inheritance concept in programming languages especially in java extend keywords is there in other languages some other method is there not the extends keyword so kbc extends abc means it is inheriting all the properties of abc it simply means that int a if kbc is also the part of the same package 10b then int a will be available within kbc if kbc is not the part of the package class 10b but if it is the part of another package suppose temp then this int a is not available there are you getting people i told you earlier that the default variables the variables which are declared with default access specifier are available within the same package so if kbc is declared within the same package then okay a is available but if it is declared outside the package this int a is not available there simple si baat hai i hope it's clear now public int b is available in kbc it doesn't matter where it has been created whether it is within the same package or outside the package now come to the third variable which is protected sorry private private is not available within kbc because int c is a private variable and it is available within the class in which it is declared which is the abc itself any doubt till now children till now any doubt if then please tell beta please tell hurry up class 10b are beta boliye okay now come to the last 
access specifier which is protected children if abc is declared within the same package then also we need to inherit the properties of abc so it doesn't matter where kbc is declared but if it is inheriting abc class this t is available within kbc so if kbc we have declared here here this is kbc dot java suppose but if the structure is class kbc extends abc then it simply means that that int d variable is also available within this kbc even if it is a part of the util package it means protected access specifiers are accessible within the subclasses so please note protected specifiers are accessible within the subclasses protected specifiers are available within the subclasses accessible any problem any doubt yes yes it is available within the subclasses only by the way who is this who is who is this yes. aditya okay aditya so i hope i have explained uh, enough and your concepts are okay if we talk about access specifiers yes excused bolye no only d is accessible private variables you cannot access public variables you can access everywhere for public variable for public variable there is no constraint the constraint is only for default private and protected the variables which are default it means these are available within the same package only the variables which are private you cannot access these private variables within the same package outside that particular class i told you na so this is all about access specifier so i think it is i have explained enough in a effective way and uh, i don't think that if you uh, have any problem if you have then you are free to ask please ask ji anand arnav mohan sanvi arora shubhra gupta arnav jetli narhari sharma please yes so children almost your syllabus is complete few programs and few things i need to discuss and i hope you all are preparing for your uh, pre votes first pre vote so if you want to ask anything please ask otherwise i am sending you the google form link so that you can mark your attendance thank you